I know, I know, another damn spider in the mail. Um, this one has me a little bit nervous. This is from uh, Jamie's Tarantulas, and she has a really good reputation in the industry, so I'm sure everything will be 100% okay. But I didn't get any sort of tracking info. I knew it was supposed to come today, and it looks like it did. But like I said, I didn't get any tracking info, so I wasn't 100% sure. So that was a little bit worrying. And then the box itself doesn't say anything about live animals or perishable or fragile or be careful, so... I'm really worried that this may have been kicked around a little bit. I'm sure it's fine, but you know, a little bit of a worry if, it, if it's not labeled appropriately, maybe someone will um, not take as good a care of it, but we're gonna open it up and take a look. Love these packing peanuts they get everywhere. That'll be nice. And more packing peanuts, all right. Clean it up later. Well, you can see that when a company that really knows what they're doing packs it well, you could probably kick this thing around like a football and it probably wouldn't be a big deal. Obviously, I don't recommend that. I'm not condoning that, but I'm just saying that the, since the container wasn't labeled a um, animal or perishable or fragile or anything, with packing like this, you probably don't have to worry about it. And before I tell you what this is, I want to show you the container. I'm trying to do something maybe a little bit different than my normal setup. Um, this species is a pretty prolific webber, and it's a crazy awesome looking species also. Wait till you see this. Well, I'll just give it away. It is the Chromatopelma cyaneo pubescens, the green bottle blue. Um, the really crazy awesome colors as slings, and as they get older, the uh, coloration actually changes a little bit, um, but the adult colorations are just as awesome. And they tend to be really prolific webbers, webbing up the entire container. They'll make like a really thick white blanket of webbing and then sit right on top of it. So imagine a really bright white web with a really awesome colored spider sitting right on top of it. So what I'm hoping to do is, and it's not gonna really make much of a difference in this tiny enclosure, but when this thing gets bigger and gets put into an adult enclosure, I want to line the side and the back with things that it can web on, with anchor points, and then leave the center and front open. And hopefully this spider is gonna web all of the sides and the back and leave kind of a natural bowl. So when you look into this, you'll see really high webbing on the sides and on the back, leaving kind of a natural hole in the middle or a bowl of white webbing. And the tarantula will hopefully hang out right in the center of that. So let's move this over a little bit. Let's get this guy or girl out and it is wrapped in moist towel and there you go the GBB the green bottle blue looks pretty well wrapped and I expected really nothing less I've heard nothing but really wonderful things about Jamie's tarantulas and there he or she is look at the colorations on this on Unbelievable. Such a cool looking spider. Look at that. Let me see if I can open this up a little bit here without it freaking out. Um, right now it has sort of tan legs, a tan carapace, and that tiger striped abdomen. Um, but when this thing gets older, it is going to be even more colorful. It's going to lose that um, tiger striping, but it's going to have a really bright orange abdomen and almost emerald green carapace and bright blue legs. I mean, they look amazing. So let's get her in this container and uh, get her some water in there and uh, hopefully she'll be comfortable in the next few days and start webbing. Hopefully she'll be relaxed for me here. And out of any of the new worlds that I have, if any of them are going to bolt and end up running across my room, it will be this little one. But she was pretty nice, so. Chromatopelma cyanio pubescens, the green bottle blue. And again, you'll notice these juvenile colors are gonna turn into bright green and blue and orange when she's a little bit older, but still, even as a juvenile, they just look really, really neat. So hopefully this setup idea works. The way I hope it does, hopefully she'll make like a natural bowl with her webbing and hang out on top of it. So overall, I'm happy with uh, the spider. Spider looks good, looks happy, looks healthy. Um, 
the ship out fine. Um, Jamie's tarantulas has a pretty good reputation in the hobby and I would recommend using her as well. Thank you.